Hello everybody, this is Budridge and in this video I would like to demonstrate uh, my Polyfy uh, tool here, uh, utility that I have created that makes it uh, really easy and uh, fun to work with uh, Polybar's hook modules. So um, let's start here I think. I have the, the Polybar official wiki here with the hook module or IPC module page open. Because I think it's it's easiest to, to understand what Polyfy does by first looking at how uh, the hook modules work uh, in its default state, so to speak. So I will copy here this uh, example module from, from the wiki and paste it here in uh, my Polybar configuration here. And I, I'm using the default Polybar config here now. I don't know why, but I, I, I am. Whatever, I just changed the font. But this is the default uh, poly polybar file. Um, so now we have added this subscriber module here. It's called subscriber. We could rename it here to um, example hook or whatever. And when we have this hook defined here, we can just add it to the modules list. Uh, let's add it as as the center module here, save, but as we can see nothing happens here and that is because you also need to add uh, a setting, you need to add this enable IPC true to your polybar config if you don't have it and it, it is not uh, uh, in the default configuration file, so, so add that to the bar section of the polybar config file. Now we can see it says bud here and that comes from this uh, 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 example hook module here. Uh, to be more exact it comes from the second hook in the module which is the command who am I because you define you can define any number of hooks in, in, a, in an IPC module like this and those hooks are just commands and the output of that command is, is what will be the, the mm, content of the module. So who am I, you know, that, that just prints the username, which is bud. That's why it says bud here, because it's also set to initial two, meaning the second hook in this list. Um, if I would change this to, to one here, then it will take the first hook in the list, which is date. And now it displays the date instead. If I change it to three, it will take the third hook, and then it will display the number of files in my home directory. Um, the cool thing with hook modules or IPC modules is that you can uh, trigger them from uh, scripts and stuff without uh, ha having to use uh, timers and stuff and, and that's really really cool but it's very inconvenient to use it. Uh, so, but, but to do that you, you use this polybar-msg command. This is uh, built into polybar. Um, then the name of the module, which is example hook here, so we write that, example hook, and then the, the number of the hook you want to trigger. So if, if I want to trigger the second hook here, I just type 2, and there you can see it updated with this, that content. So this is kind of cool. Um, but it's very inconvenient, you have to remember the numbers of the hooks and uh, if you want to customize this like uh, say say you would like to, to print a custom string you know uh, that, that doesn't really work then you have to create a, a, a new hook here um, we could do echo custom string and now um, we can do polybar message 4 because now we have 4 hooks here and there now it says custom string but if I w really wanted a custom string then then um, we have to do something like this maybe echo now this is real custom redirect that to, to some stupid file uh, tmp hook test or something and then we could uh, create a, a change this to, to cat the content of this temporary file here tmp hook test uh, and then change the initial here also to 4 now we can see now it says the content of that file so, so now we can just 
<laughs> you see how easy it is, right? Now, now we just change this, the content of that file and reload Polybar and then it will work, you know. Hello! But we could also do that now. And uh, this is more or less what Polyfy does. It wraps this functionality. We, we could uh, write a really stupid function here, like uh, update uh, my hook. Um, then echo everything, redirect that to TMP hook test, and then polybar msg hook example hook for close block, and now we can use this function update my hook. I can write stuff. And there, now you can see it, it updates. With, with, so. so this is more or less what Polyfy does. It creates uh, temporary files and, and keep tracks of them for you and stuff. So I will show you now a, a, a Polyfy uh, module. Uh, and there is, uh, there is some examples here in the documentation. I, 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 when this video is up, uh, this, uh, this will be public on Bud Labs. There will be links in the show notes and I will uh, fine-tune this this documentation a bit but but it will look more or less like like it does here uh, so let's copy this example module here and um, add that here in the polybar configuration file and you write it just like any other ipc module module slash name of the module let's uh, have a better name here uh, we can call it polyfy left uh, type custom ipc and then this is very important that the first hook, hook zero, have this command polyfy dash dash module and then the same name as the module here. That is important. And when we have that, we can add that to our uh, modules list here. Let's add it far left. Nothing happened there, but now we can uh, use this polyfy specify the module we want to uh, operate on and we call it polyfy left and then we can just write some some text there and there you can see it updated with, with that text immediately um, there are uh, I added a bunch of options uh, so we can format the, the, the text uh, with different colors foreground background and you can also add like uh, mouse actions left click right click middle click and, and scroll up and scroll down it's not part of the documentation but it I just added that uh, so we could do something like uh, this is green now no it's not green because we have to add the color also of course foreground then an, a hexadecimal value here so green like this and there now we have green text we could also change the background uh, back ground let's make it magenta I think this will be really beautiful Wow uh, if we want to we could also add mouse actions uh, like uh, left click and then a command that you want to execute when you left click here let's let's do a notify send you clicked Now I can click this and we get this, this notification here. So you can see how easy it is to build up uh, more advanced uh, modules, easy from, from a script. Of course, you don't do it on the command line often like this, but you could just to test things. Um, there is also, uh, you can also specify a prefix if you want to. This is, I guess, uh, most useful to use if you want a, a, an icon or something. Now, uh, I cannot use icons here in URXVT, but uh, let's pretend that this is an icon, you know. And now we can see we have a prefix here uh, before the message, and that, that doesn't have the same color formatting, but you can add uh, prefix color formats and also mouse actions as well by just doing the same foreground dash prefix uh, and then a color value for that. Let's make it a red. There, cool. Haha. <laughs> um, then we have uh, 
yeah, I really like this option. Expire time. Uh, by using that, you, it will clear the uh, the module after uh, an amount of seconds here. Let's say five seconds. And now it will display this, but after five seconds, it will clear the module. So you can use it for for kind of like um, yeah, emulate like a notification or whatever. Uh, it's pretty cool, but you can also uh, manually clear a module by using the clear uh, option like that um, and it works just as I showed you there with, by creating these files uh, in, in the TMP directory so they will get cleared on, on reboot but you, it will create this polyfy directory here and here we can see it have this polyfy left file already have it prepared here in Sublime, but here is Polyfy left. Currently it is completely empty because yeah, the, we, we just cleared the module, but if we add like this complicated one here, then it, the file looks like this with all this uh, um, format applied and stuff here. So that's nice. Um, and that is also why um, you, you only need to add this uh, this command here, polyfy module polyfy left, without any other arguments. Because uh, when you do that, uh, what that command will do is it will it will just cut out that file, you know. Uh, it will cut the content of this file. But when you do that in polybar, then the, the formatting stuff here will be get translated correctly. Um, then we have this thing, uh, will not go, uh, or whatever, let's, uh, let's do this, and use msg here, uh, uh, that lets you add the secret messages to, to the module, super secret classified. There. Looks like nothing happened. Clicking this, you clicked. Uh, but if we look into the file now, we can see we have our super secret classified string here before uh, the, the the string that's visible here. And that's this is how Polybar works. If you if you uh, try to print output that's divided in multiple lines, it will only display the last line. That means you can you can store stuff here in in this um, with this MSG uh, option. Uh, and it's very useful for if you want to know the state uh, of a module or uh, some some type of content of the module. If you create a media module, for example, maybe you want to store uh, the file name or or whatever, or maybe you create a menu. You want to store what in what state the module is or whatever. I, I will not go into details about it. It's a very simple example. I think here in the documentation here is is a script that toggles between two different states using this msg option i think we will look into it in, in some later video but that's basically all this does um, i thought let's end this by creating a, a doing something a little bit more useful than just displaying this ugly text here uh, you you see this notification i have here i, I made videos uh, a while ago about how I created this uh, displaying the, the last uh, pressed key combination from i3 you know uh, as a notification uh, I have that script open here we're not going into any details of course how this works because I have already made a couple of videos about it but if we change this because this is the command that executes that uh, creates that notification if we change this dunstify command here into a, a polyfy command instead uh, polyfy module polyfy left save reload this whoops uh, uh, um, but it seems to work right <laughs> not sure what i did there uh yeah it works it works you can see now now i'm pressing different key key combinations and it uh, displays the, the command uh, i press here and it uses polyfy and, and, and uh, if you pay attention here you can see this is inside awk that i execute this 
And it's uh, just as easy to, to embed this uh, polyfy command into like Python or Lua or whatever, you know. Uh, so yeah, the, the, this has saved me a lot of time. I, I, I have been using this for, for a while uh, without making it public, uh, but I use it all the time when I, when I create custom modules for Polyfy, Polybar now. So I hope uh, that I made uh, sense in this video. Yeah, this is the weird, you know, I, I accidentally reloaded i3 and, and you know, then it rereads the rules in a weird way. It's really annoying. Whatever. Um, yeah. The script will be public when this video is public. Uh, link in the show note. Uh, it will be available on bud, bud, uh, github slash budlabs slash polyfy. Uh, I will also create an AUR package that should also be up at that time. Um, and yeah, and there is a man page for those who like that stuff, you know, man, polyfy, and then you can read that stuff here and see. It, 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 it's the same content as this readme, more or less. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day.